Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do Libra's mid month, end of November, um, love reading, check in on the energies for Libra in love for the second half of November. This will be for Libra sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. And being a general reading, this will not resonate for everybody. So please do go check out the other videos of the signs that make up the rest of your natal chart as the messages may resonate even more than your sun sign. And you'll definitely get additional messages in those videos as well. And also cross watchers as well as Libra, please feel free if, um, to change up. If I'm speaking to you Libra, but you're more resonating with the other side of the table, by all means, take it that way in cross watchers. If I'm speaking to Libra and it sounds like you take it as it resonates. So the point being take it as it resonates. Don't make it fit. If it doesn't fit or it doesn't align with your situation, then it just means I'm not tuning into your particular scenario and check out the other readings that may make that um, may resonate for you more. And also do go check out the playlists I've put together for you guys on here on YouTube. And I have many other types of readings I do also other videos on conscious parenting, conscious health. Um, I have a bunch of different series, my soul growth series. I've got a whole ton of videos over here on this channel. So the playlist might help you find something that is supportive or just browse through the videos I've got here. Um, see which ones jump out at you and, uh, also check out the November general and love readings for all the astrological signs. There'll probably be more messages in there if you haven't already done so. So let's see what's going on for Libra in love. End of November 2019. So we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so you've stood your ground on something here, Libra, that you haven't wanted to give up on, and boom, here's your new beginning. There's an offer coming in or an opportunity for an offer or a new beginning coming that is tangible, that is real when it comes to love. So you have stood your ground, you've persevered and boom, here it is Libra. So we're getting the queen of cups, the six of cups and the five of cups. And then we're getting the five of pentacles, the judgment card and the sun. Okay. So what we have here is there's a situation that you have stood your ground on because you have felt deep emotion for the situation. But during this journey of perseverance, you have struggled with the feelings of fear of rejection, unworthiness, uncertainty. Maybe this person that you're dealing with has been struggling with unworthiness. But at the end of the day, we have this perseverance card with the six of cups and the judgment. It's like, this perseverance has paid off because there is an energy of a soulmate here. This is a reunion, a reconciliation, possibly. Maybe it's somebody from your past that's coming back that has really decided that you they need you in your, their future. And um, we do have this new beginning along with the sun here, which is this massively beautiful energy. But in the middle here, we have some five of cups energy. So I'm going to pull some more cards and get a couple more um, clarifiers here for why this is coming in, but it does feel like this new beginning may be tinged with a little sadness and regret from the past. But again, which is when it's the six of cups and the five of cups, you guys may have a history. So tell me about the five of pentacles here. The five of wands. See, there's been some internal conflict. Someone has been conflicted. They, um, there's been an energy of change. Um, somebody might be afraid of the change of what, whatever this new beginning might bring to them in the future. What does it look like? How does it affect my life? Tell me about the seven of wands, the eight of cups. So this could be somebody that maybe walked away from you or you walked away from because you needed to. Um, but you've stood your ground that even though they walked away, you knew the higher truth. Um, or this could simply indicate that what you've stood your ground on is that you've wanted ultimate emotional fulfillment here. And the Queen of Cups with the Three of Cups. So, you know, if this person or if you walked away at one point to go to another relationship, the love never died. The, the conviction never died despite this happening. But it did bring up some changes and some conflict here. Tell me about 
about this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, enlightenment, joy, happiness. This is what you've been you've been working so hard for, Libra. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. The Four of Cups. Yeah, there's been you've been persevering because this opportunity hasn't come in yet, but here it is. This cup being offered. Tell me about the Six of Cups. The Seven of Cups. Yeah, there's been the, the the opportunities here, but this person has settled into, you know, you may have some confusion coming up around this reconciliation or this soulmate, but at the end of the day, which is probably why maybe this five of cups is here, but you're trying to figure out what you want here, but we're getting judgment and justice. So co things coming back into balance here. Tell me why the five of cups is here and the knight of cups. So Whoever's coming forward with their offer and sincere offer, they're coming forward with the burdens of the past and the sadness of the past. And do you see how this knight is walk is walking forward in water? His his horse is riding through water. It's like this feels like there's been a lot of emotions tied to this new beginning, but there is a tinge of like I'm feeling almost like choking up right now with emotion because it's like it's here, but I'm so sad about whatever I did to you in the past. Whoever's coming forward with the offer does look like there is some sadness and shame and guilt and regret about the past. But tell me about the sun, the knight of pentacles. So it's a sincere offer too. We're getting the two knights coming in. And it's likely that the person who is coming forward held back because they wanted to make sure that it was right. They wanted to make it right. They've reevaluated their life. They figured out whatever has happened. They want to come back here. So let's see where you are in your headspace regarding this person. Strength, 10 of swords and the chariot. Yep, you've been holding back and you've been also de demonstrating a lot of courage here because you've been really wanting the ending of this situation that's not been easy. You're per you've persevered through it. It's been difficult. You may want the ending of betrayal. That could be why this five of cups is here, but you're ready to move things forward. When things are, it's like when things are aligned, you want to move it forward with this person. No matter, despite what's happened in the past, but it, it could be bringing up a little bit of, oh boy, I don't know, but your overwhelming thought on it is that you want to move this forward and you want the past to be in the past. Where are you in your heart space? There's the emperor, the high priestess, and the nine of pentacles. So you've been really solid on your own. You've been good and while you've been persevering, you've been focused on your work and doing what you need to do. But in your heart is the emperor, okay? You have held out because this is could be a divine masculine, divine feminine situation. You have been following your intuition. You have been understanding that you haven't, you haven't known everything yet. Not everything has been revealed quite yet. And it's like you're kind of anticipating when this is going to begin in your heart space. Let's see where the your, your person has been in their head space about you, Libra. Well, they're ready to take a risk with you with the fool and their empress. She's answering to me right now that this is um, a big time soulmate relationship. Divine masculine, divine feminine showing up here. This person might want to be taking a risk towards you on the brink of it. But they're getting a little of the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords in the headspace? Let's get a clarifier on the Seven of Swords. Queen of Swords. They they could be feeling like you, they, they're deceiving themselves about how you feel about them. The fact that you have persevered, the fact that you have this love for them. They, are, they could be a little afraid that they're fooling themselves and that you might just go cut them out and say, no, back off. You're not welcome here. Okay, that's like so many cards I'm going to. Let's see where they are in their heart space about you. The Hermit, the Page of Pentacles, 
and the eight of see they're in there they're stuck in their head a little bit they're a little afraid because of this five of cups because there's some shame and sadness about the past here they are afraid that they're fooling themselves about the connection they're fooling themselves they're trapped they don't know what to do they want to do things differently they've been learning a lot about themselves and going inward but at the end of the day because of the if this five of cups wasn't here with this ace of pentacles in the sun it would be no problem but this to me feels like this big spiritual lesson that they're needing to break through why is the eight of swords here see king of swords so we're getting four swords cards here so this person's really in their head about you libra Tell me about the hermit. See, they've just, they want to tell you how they feel. They've discovered really how they feel about you. They may want to apologize for whatever happened in the past. Or maybe they want the apology from you. Again, take it as it, as it fits. But there's someone here that wants to communicate and maybe want to even apologize. Yeah. It's like they're ready. They're done being stuck there hanging. They're wanting to continue what they've already started with you, but they want to do things differently now. They don't want to do the same old, same old. And they're freaking out about you, Empress. Here the masculine is in, the divine masculine is in the heart space here. And here, the, and this isn't supposed to be like a divine masculine, divine feminine reading specifically, but when the emperor or the empress show up, like they've been showing up in almost every reading, there's a big message here for soulmates, sacred union, twin flames, sacred partnerships, is they're freaking out about you. But at the end of the day, they know how they feel about you. They want to take this risk with you. They're worried that they're deceiving themselves. They're wanting to shift things up. And they're seeing things in a new light because you are their world here. All right, so let's get a guidance card for Libra. What is the best guidance you have for Libra? A new romantic cycle begins. Well, there you go, guys. Here's this Ace of Pentacles and the Sun. Here's the Knight of Cups. Joy, happiness, enlightenment. A sincere offer. This poor person is freaking out about it. But a new romantic cycle begins, one that is balanced, Libra. Wow, beautiful reading. And I hope that that was helpful. Do go check out the other readings that will give you some additional messages. So until next time, I send you much love. Bye.